Hello viewers, uh, welcome to this uh, Made Easy YouTube channel. Uh, in uh, this program of uh, uh, YouTube channel, I would like to discuss about the some of the most typical and important previous year uh, questions and their solutions of uh, GATE and IES. After seeing these questions, definitely those uh, students who have already prepared for the GATE, they could revise the concepts and those who are preparing for the GATE or IES, definitely they would get the very in-depth uh, uh, knowledge of the concepts regarding this heat and mass transfer subject. In fact, as you are aware, in the heat and mass transfer, there are four topics, conduction, convection, radiation and heat exchangers. I have selected some of the most typical questions of the previous year uh, uh, gate uh, questions and I have discussed the solutions. Uh, yeah, actually, let me first uh, start with the first question, which is uh, given like this. Three slabs are joined together as shown in the figure. This is a figure given. Three slabs are joined together. There is no thermal contact resistance at the interface. The, at these interfaces, there is no contact resistance. Contact resistance, the central slab, only this part of the slab experiences a non-uniform internal heat generation. Only this heat generation is there only in this uh, central slab with an average value equal to the 10,000 uh, watt per meter cube. He has given the heat generation per unit volume happening only in the center slab while the left and right slabs have no internal heat generation. No heat generation is there here. Only heat generation is happening only in the center slab. All slabs have thickness equal to the 1 meter and the thermal conductivity of each slab is equal to 5 watt per meter Kelvin. The two extreme faces, extreme faces, this right face and left face are exposed to the fluid. You can see here there is a fluid uh, uh, moving uh, have at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, there is a convection heat transfer happening between this extreme phase to this right side fluid and as well as from the left extreme phase to this uh, left hand side fluid. The two extreme phases are exposed to fluid with a heat transfer coefficient of 100 watt per meter square Kelvin. The convective heat transfer coefficient is also given which is happening for the convection heat transfer between the extreme phase and the fluid. The fluid temperatures are also noted here. Look at this. 30 degrees Celsius right side fluid and left side fluid is also at 30 degrees Celsius. The convective heat transfer coefficient uh, is given as 100 watt per meter square Kelvin. The heat transfer in the slabs is assumed to be one dimensional and steady. Heat conduction or convection is happening only along in this direction only and the conditions are steady. This is the most important uh, uh, term which you need to understand and apply in the problem. Steady state means the temperature at a particular location must not change with respect to the time. Okay, And all the properties are constant. If the left extreme uh, phase temperature, this temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, then the right, right side extreme phase temperature how much? Understand? The problem is given like this. It is a one-dimensional steady state conduction problem with, uh, with uh, heat generation. But heat generation is happening only in the central slab. There is no heat generation in these two slabs. All the slabs are glued together and there is no contact resistance at the interfaces. And there is convection happening from the right phase, right extreme phase and the left extreme phase also. Okay, Then what would be the temperature of the right extreme phase? The solution of this problem could be easily given just by applying this steady state conditions. For steady state conditions to get satisfied, for steady state conditions to get satisfied, if you just take the whole of this particular uh, three slabs, one control volume, if you take the entire three slabs as one control volume, for steady state conditions of this control volume to get satisfied, whatever the heat generated inside this control volume must get convected from the right side surface and as well as from the left side surface. Once again, I am repeating the concept. The core idea for doing this problem is the total heat generated in the entire control volume must be equal to the, the rate of convection heat transfer happening from this right face plus the rate of convection heat transfer happening from this left face to the fluid. From that energy balance for steady state, we could easily get the right side temperature. Okay, so uh, for steady state conditions, for steady state conditions of entire system, of entire system of three slabs. 
the energy balance says that the energy balance requires the rate of heat generation in the central slab the rate of heat generation in the central slab there is no heat generation in the right side slab and left side slab only central slab is generating heat should be equal to the heat convected to fluid from right extreme phase plus heat convected to fluid from left extreme phase understand the problem uh, can be solved by making the energy balance the total heat generated in the entire system should be equal to the heat convected from the right phase plus heat convected from the left phase that is q dot heat generated into area of the slab into thickness thickness is given by 1 meter should be equal to the h a temperature of the uh, temperature is given uh, as the t2 right extreme phase minus temperature of the fluid plus h a t1 minus t infinity this t1 has been given as 100 here left extreme phase t infinity is given as 30 a is the area of the slabs the slabs are like this the slabs are like this thickness is same for all the three slabs thickness is same what is the area this is the area okay so q dot is the heat generated per unit volume into what is the volume of the slab area into thickness only center slab is generating heat so the units will be units will be so many watt okay what he has given the uh, here is a heat generated in the center slab 10000 a get cancelled here into 1 length of the slab center slab is 1 uh, h is given as 100 both sides t2 we do not know temperature of the fluid is 30 plus left side h is also same into t1 minus 30 what is t1 there 100 minus 30 then the t2 will be 60 degrees celsius this temperature is 60 degrees celsius which is the unknown temperature for steady state the total heat generated in the entire slab should be equal to the heat convected from the right phase plus heat convected from the left phase mind that uh, that somebody may get a doubt right side fluid left side fluid is same temperature it is there and you are having the uh, same uh, convective heat transfer coefficient and dimensions are also appearing to be appearing to be same then why the right side temperature and left side temperature are different some students may get a doubt that why the right side extreme temperature 60 is different from the left extreme uh, temperature that is 100 degrees celsius when everything is looking uh, symmetrical from right side and left side why the temperatures are different the answer will be the central slab is generating heat non uniformly Please note that there is a non-uniform heat generation, but the 10,000 is given as the average value for the entire central slab. That is the reason why right side extreme temperature and left side extreme temperatures are not equal.